Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new week. This is the fourth week of I and Individual and Societies, where abbreviation is I and S. All right, miss. So today I'm going to give a brief summary of what is expected of you throughout this entire week. Uh, as you already know now by now that there are formatives and summatives. The formative includes an informal form of assessment where we will assess your knowledge and understanding of the unit through a specific task. And this idea of the formative is very reflective to what you're going to do in the summative. So for this week, we will discuss in details what is criteria B and C in individuals and societies, where B stands for investigating and C stands for communicating. So as you can already tell, that criterion B will investigate an issue and you will create a report or you'll create a brochure in this scenario. On criterion C, you must communicate your brochure and your ideas in front of your classmates. So, which leads us to the second objective, we will create a brochure on one of the following global issues. So I will actually divide you into groups. And uh, in your group, you will discuss with which issue you'd like to reflect based on your knowledge and understanding as an entire group. So it is very essential here that you apply your ability to work together cohesively uh, within a specific context. So in other words, when I expect you to work together, you must communicate, you must collaborate. So all of these skills must be clearly reflective. Um, one, of the, one of the global issues includes uh, plastic pollution. The second one is air pollution. The third one is water pollution. The fourth one is species extinction. And the final one, environmental destruction. So choose the uh, topic that you feel that you, may, you can reflect on the most and create your brochure. Now, obviously you will receive a specific guideline that reflects what you should include within this brochure. However, in the second class, I will explain the assessment objectives and details here. And again, you will create your brochure. So it's a continuation of the first class because in the first class you have to research in groups and create a brochure structure. But in the second class, you start applying your understanding of the uh, research and understanding of how to make the brochure engaging and very attractive. So in other words, you're actually plotting everything down and you're writing it down. And the third class is the presentation class. So here we're focusing mostly on criterion C, which is communicating. So not only is communicating effect, uh, important, it is effective only if everyone listens actively and takes effective notes uh, in regards to their presentation, the content, their tone, their mood, etc. And I want you to reflect on your performance uh, as a group. And also, I want you to reflect on your classmates' performance. So, for instance, let's say group one performed very well. However, they were reading the whole time directly from the paper. You'd have to reflect that this is a weakness, uh, that they were reading directly from the paper, but perhaps their tone was effective and the way that they spoke. Um, also, uh, gestures are important. So keep this in mind and please Take the time to watch the video reflecting ways to present and the do's and the don'ts when you present in front of your peers. Okay, so let's hope for a prosperous week where we learn effectively throughout and I wish you a lovely, lovely day.